This week marked a milestone in space exploration. NASA's Hubble telescope was deployed 35 years ago aboard the space shuttle Discovery. In that time, the Hubble has made nearly 1.7 million observations. Now NASA has released these anniversary images, cosmic sights in our solar system, to our galaxy and even beyond. Images like that can spark our imaginations and curiosity about space. And one woman is helping us understand all the findings in the final frontier. Very excited to have Astro Alexandra, Alexandra Doton, with us right here in studio today. Good to have you in the studio. It's so nice to be here. And we've rolled out our immersive reality uh, space scene for you so you could feel at home. It's amazing. <laughs> right at home on the moon. <laughs> so let's. So you're on TikTok. You're on Instagram. Mm -hmm. uh, you have a huge amount of following, millions and millions and millions of followers. Mm -hmm. um, and. But I want to start with, how did you learn everything that you know about space? Yeah, absolutely. I've always been really, really interested in science, uh, specifically biology. But when I went to college, I went to Vanderbilt University, and um, I had to fulfill some credits, and I took Astronomy 101, freshman year, 8 a.m., my very first class of college, and um, absolutely fell in love with it. I had some amazing professors, and I, I just kept taking the classes. And after my sophomore year of college, I actually got my first internship um, with NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center in Maryland and kept working there, got a full-time job after college and learned a lot on the job. Yeah, so you're not an astronaut, I just want to be clear to everyone, but you, um, you play one on TV, so to speak, here on the yes. internet. But no, you did work for NASA and so you've learned a lot along the way and now you share with everyone. What's the latest sort of biggest headline that you're covering right now in Space News? Absolutely. So there's been a lot of news surrounding the possibility of life on an exoplanet right now. Mm -hmm. There's an exoplanet called K218b. Yeah. And uh, astronomers have kind of identified what could potentially be a biosignature or a sign of life on this exoplanet, which is 124 light years away. So that's that's been very exciting. It's very exciting. I've been watching. I've watched your feed, I, you know, on, more on Instagram for me than TikTok. But um, you have nice, quick um, very understandable explanations about all of this that is happening. You know, there's been so much space news, it's almost overwhelming. Mm -hmm. How do you choose what you're going to follow and what you're going to post about? Yeah, absolutely. Well, you're right. And thankfully, there's a lot of space news. There's always something to keep us um, learning more. I really like to go through and think about what's both really exciting and accessible to people because mm -hmm. a lot of this space news is really dense, is math heavy, is physics heavy. And my job and my goal is to break down all of that information and make sure that everybody can understand it, whether they've taken that astronomy class or whether they haven't. So finding the right kind of news to do that is um, really difficult, but... Yeah. Um, it's exciting. It's exciting. It's got to keep every single day very exciting. And, you know, nothing is nothing is ever the same, literally. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, that's the best thing about space is there's literally an yeah. infinite amount to learn. So what surprises you the most, though, as you kind of make these discoveries and explanations that go with it? Yeah, you know, I am most amazed by when we think about space, we think a lot about space exploration. We think about rockets and spacecraft and all of this stuff. But what I'm most amazed by is our human ingenuity in thinking of new innovative ways to look at space from where we are mm -hmm. and to explore the cosmos from Earth because we can go so much farther from here than we can on a spacecraft. And so thinking of all these new ways that astronomers are studying space um, is so fascinating and exciting to me. Yeah. It's a good way to put it. We can go farther yeah. from Earth than we can actually in a spacecraft. Um, but you have astronauts who have been on spacecrafts and up in, in space following you yes. on social media. How does that make you feel? Very exciting. You know, I'm so uh, lucky to have had the experience at NASA and at the Space Force and having met some of these people and um, having earned the respect mm -hmm. of yeah. some of these people. Because I, I think that social media sometimes... Um, is not looked at as a serious platform for journalism. And it's really exciting that I'm sharing this educational information and I have, you know, earned the respect of people who are, you know, on the front lines of space, yes. who are going to it and have bravery, you know, beyond measure that I certainly don't have. Yes. Um, well, um, the, a question I have for you actually is, would you ever consider going to space? We'll get to that. Um, but, you know, 
as we think about just the sheer volume of everything that you're covering and this uh, sort of massive, unending nature of space, mm -hmm. um, is this something that you want to keep doing? Absolutely. Absolutely. That's the thing is I've always always just been so fascinated by science and by learning as much as possible. And space is one of the best subjects I can think of for never running out of things to explore and things to learn. Speaking of never running out, I have many more questions for you, including would you consider going to space here? So I invite the audience and you to stick around just another five minutes and we'll get back with more with Astro Alexandra.